everyone how to simplify this nice algebraic expression if we have 7 over 2 to the power of 5 over 2 and we can simplify this algebraic expression into the lowest form but here you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem uh, so that uh, we will do all of the working on this paper with our mind so i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind please don't hesitate to write this method in the comment section uh, so i hope so you like this method so now here the very first step we are going to do is first we can break this exponent and we write the exponent of 7 over 2 as this is 5 over 2 we multiply we write it as 5 multiplied by 1 over 2 uh, and now you see here uh, we have the exponent law if uh, we have a to the power of uh, m multiplied by n it is equals to a to the power of m to the power of n according to this exponent law we uh, need to move this 5 inside the term we write it as 7 over 2 to the power of 5 and its whole exponent is 1 over 2 and now we need to apply here another exponent law you know that if we have a over b to the power of m it is equals to a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m so according to this rule now we break this uh, exponent 5 and we write it as 7 to the power of 5 divided by 2 to the power of 5 and its whole exponent is 1 over 2. And now uh, here uh, you very well know about the meaning of 7 to the power of 5. Uh, the meaning of 7 to the power of 5 is that we multiply 7 with 5 times we write it as 7 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7 and it is divided by this is 2 to the power of 5 we write uh, it means that we multiply 2 with 5 times so you have 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 and its whole exponent is 1 over 2 now you make the pairs of these terms you see here this 7 multiplied 7 this 7 multiplied by 7 we write it as this is 7 multiplied by 7 equals to 7 square this 7 multiplied by 7 equals to 7 square and we get this 7 only so we write this term into the index notation similarly here we again write this into the index notation we make the pairs we have 2 square multiplied by 2 square when you combine these two and these two you get these two values and here we have <clears throat> this is multiplied by 2 and its whole exponent is 1 over 2 and now uh, here we have another step uh, or another rule uh, which we can apply here so that uh, now we can apply here this exponent law if you have a multiplied by b to the power of m equals to a multiplied by b a to the power of m multiplied by b to the power of m so according to this exponent law we can apply uh, the power 1 over 2 on each of these values to the upside as well as downside so now here first we can apply 1 over 2 to the upside it will be written as 7 square multiplied by 7 square multiplied by 7 and its whole power is 1 over 2 divided by 2 square multiplied by 2 square multiplied by 2 and its whole power is 1 over 2 and now we move this power 1 over 2 on each of these values uh, so it will be written as uh, uh, 7 square and its whole power is 1 over 2 multiplied by 7 square and its whole power is 1 over 2 multiplied by 7 to the power of 1 over 2 and it is divided by uh, here you have 2 square and its whole power 1 over 2 multiplied by 2 square and its whole power is 1 over 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 over 2 and now here we need uh, more simplifications uh, and you see here this 2 and 2 are cancelled out by each other this 2 and this 2 are also cancelled out by each other 
and we get the remaining values are 7 multiplied by 7 multiplied by here you have 7 to the power of 1 over 2 so we write this into the radical form we have 7 square root it is divided by this 2 and 2 are cancelled out by each other and we get 2 multiplied by this 2 and these 2 are cancelled out by each other and we again get 2 multiplied by this is 2 to the power of 1 over 2 and we write this into the radical form so this is square root of 2 and now here in the next step uh, we need to multiply 7 with 7 and you know that uh, 7 7s are 49 uh, and uh, 49 times of a square root of 7 divided by this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 times of uh, square root of 2 and now here in the next step because we write our answer into the lowest form or simplified form so that we need more simplifications here and now we need to multiply and divide this term by square root of 2 or here we can multiply and divide by square root of 2 so that here uh, when we uh, we multiply the numerator term with the numerator and the denominator term with the denominator so it will be written as 49 times of square root of 7 multiplied by square root of 2 divided by 4 uh, uh, 4 times of here you see that this is square root of 2 and this is also square root of 2 and it is written as square root of 2 and its whole square and now here we uh, need another uh, radical law you know that if you have square root of a multiplied by square root of b so we write it as square root of a multiplied by b so according to uh, this rule here we need to combine uh, these two radicals and it will be written as uh, 49 multiplied by square root of 7 multiplied by 2 divided by this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here 4 is multiplied by 2 so uh, here we need some simplifications and you write it as 49 times of a square root of here you see that 7 times of 2 becomes 14 and it is divided by 4 times of 2 equals to 8. So you see that this is the our final simplified form of the given question uh, and finally uh, we can just say that uh, uh, we have 7 over 2 to the power of 5 over 2 is equals to uh, the lowest form of our this given question statement uh, is equals to uh, 49 times of a square root of 14 divided by 8 so uh, this is the our final answer of this question and i hope so you like this video uh, so uh, please uh, comment your uh, if you have any other method in your mind uh, please comment this uh, your method this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos